Spaghetti squash is just that, spaghetti that comes from squash. A low carb, healthy pasta alternative that is a blank canvas for anything that you want to add to it. It just needs minimum prep, a little time in the oven, and voila, it's like an al dente pasta. So let me show you how to cook this today on the Stay at Home Chef. Don't blink or you'll miss it. To start, we're gonna preheat our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and line a baking sheet with parchment paper. Then wash the squash and give the exterior a good scrub to ensure there isn't any dirt on it. Then using a big sharp knife, cut off the top and bottom one inch. You're gonna need to use your muscles to do that. Then right down the center, cut the squash lengthwise. Once you have that cut in half, go ahead and get a spoon and scrape out the guts and the seeds. If you wanna save the seeds to roast for later, go right ahead. We have tips and tricks over on our website. Next, we're gonna drizzle these with a little bit of olive oil, or you could use your favorite cooking oil. I'm using about a tablespoon and it absorbs right into it. Give it a little rub to make sure that oil is all over. And then to salt these, I'm using about a half a teaspoon of salt for a medium sized squash. If your squash is larger, use more salt. And give it also a little bit of pepper. If you wanted to add your favorite herb or seasoning to this, go for it. I like simple salt and pepper because it keeps it very versatile for adding additional ingredients to it later on. Now take your squash and lay it cut side down on that baking sheet. And I like to lay these cut side down so that that moisture doesn't pool and make these soggy. Then take a fork and pierce the outer rind of that squash. Go ahead and just kind of rock it back and forth. And now they're ready for the oven. But if you wanna try this in your air fryer, we have all those instructions over on the website. Go ahead and pop these in your preheated oven where they're going to bake for 40 to 50 minutes. Each oven will vary with how it holds its heat and each squash is going to vary in size. So in order to know that it's perfectly cooked, take a fork and try to pull the spaghetti-like strands and when they come loose with these and the texture is like al dente pasta, that is how you know you've cooked it perfectly. It's always easier to undercook it and pop it back in the oven for a few more minutes than to overcook it and have mushy squash. Once they finish cooking, let them cool just a bit and you can scrape them onto a serving plate or scrape and leave them in the squash bowl. You can eat it just like this or add on your favorite sauce like Alfredo or marinara. The possibilities are endless and whatever you decide you wanna put on that squash, you are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe and how to guide in the video description below. Be sure to check out thestayathomechef.com where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. We'll see you later.